What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a bit different. We have E3 coming up, one of the biggest video game conferences all year. Uh, and Nintendo has actually announced when it's going to be. So it's going to be the 15th of this month, uh, 12 Eastern. And they detailed some things saying that it's gonna be 40 minutes of newness, focusing on games that are mostly coming out this year. Uh, and then also after that, they're going to be doing three hours of Treehouse Live, which basically is like people from Nintendo playing Nintendo games, like most likely the ones that they announce, stuff like that, uh, for three hours. And it's a great way to like see gameplay of things. I'm, I'm like a big gameplay person. Show me like a cinematic trailer all you want, but like gameplay is king. Gameplay, you know, shows what the game actually is. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my five most wanted things my e3 wish list i think is the better uh the better verbiage there um also in the comments i want to hear what you guys want from e3 are you you know asking for a hundred things are you just asking for one thing maybe you're just maybe you're happy with one thing okay some of us are simplistic others want 10 different things and the cool thing about my my list is that all five things are pretty likely to happen like these aren't crazy i wasn't swinging for the fences here uh these are pretty realistic so without further ado let's get going uh this is gonna be casual maybe i'll put some gameplay in the back um number one my most wanted thing i'm gonna go from one to five all all of them are good but this is my most wanted thing an animal crossing freaking update okay you guys know i'm the animal crossing guy this whole my, my whole channel basically likes animal crossing but that's not why i, I think that animal crossing this is probably going to be the last full year of updates. It pains me to say that, but realistically speaking, this is probably the last hoorah of Animal Crossing. And I think that this could be a giant update for this game. I've already talked about what could possibly be coming to this update, but you know, just to reiterate really quickly, uh, a multiplayer update. I think that would be a fun summer thing to happen for this game. Tortimer's Island, things like that. Uh, maybe we get some re returning characters. The bird that serves coffee. I, I'm legally sworn not to say his name anymore. Uh, Cap'n would be cool. Um, you know, Katrina. Like, there's so much content that is missing from this game that at this point, we should be getting it back. Like, I hate the comparisons to New Leaf, but at a certain point, you'll want more, okay? And, and this game right now, I, I even hate to say it, but it is dead. It is so dead. And we go through these like peaks and then, the, you know, the valleys and like, yeah, this game definitely needs some type of juice. And, you know, E3 conferences have always been about announcing new games, announcing like Smash characters and things like that. But it's also about supporting games that are already out. So I think that this is pretty likely to happen. I've already talked about uh, how July in Animal Crossing has nothing. August is the fireworks, from then on has a bunch of content. July has nothing. So if something were to be announced at this conference mid-June, something releasing in July actually would fit quite nicely in the whole timeline of things. So yeah, Animal Crossing update. It could be big, it could just be multiplayer, but something for this game. That's actually my number one most wanted thing, which is quite surprising. I mean, out of everything that Nintendo could announce, support for Animal Crossing, is my number one, okay? Yeah. Let me know, I, I, honestly, what you think about the possibility of an Animal Crossing update. I've always I've always said like, E3, it's gonna be the time. They've been really quiet about this game, but I like to know your guys' opinions. Uh, number two is Breath of the Wild 2 anything, okay? This game is ready. There's no way it's not ready. It's been, what, four years since Breath of the Wild's one came out, geez, time flies, okay? Uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 needs to be, like, not needs to be ready, it's a video game, but it, it, it's like, it has to be ready. There there has to be something shown. We already had that cin uh, cinematic trailer, but like I said, I want some gameplay. Uh, but Breath of the Wild 2 anything, I, you know, if I, if I had to guess, I feel like this conference would either end with Breath of the Wild 2 news, like, like a, another trailer with gameplay or like somewhere in there. Treehouse maybe, 
Um, you know, which is another interesting point. Like, what will they show at Treehouse? Uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Like, an hour of Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know. I think that'd be great. Um, I'm very excited for this. I think it is very likely. It's made with the same engine. Apparently, it's the same map as Breath of the Wild 1. Um, so, yeah. Just give us the name. Give us a trailer. And then possibly, during Treehouse, give us some gameplay. And, and really, like... Let us know what this game is about. It's probably the most anticipated sequel Nintendo's ever had. So, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 news. I think is very likely. There's also a, a slim chance that they could possibly uh, make another Direct after E3. Like a, a full-on Zelda Direct. But I don't think that's very likely. Breath of the Wild 2. Also, with Animal Crossing, I forgot to mention this. There is a good chance that Animal Crossing and Zelda could have their own, uh, you know, collab. So basically the, like the Super Mario collab, but with Zelda, they, they've had it before in New Leaf where they bring over uh, different characters. I think I'm gonna actually make a video on that in the future. So uh, yeah, get ready for that. But yeah, Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2, gameplay would be nice, but just more information on that game. Number three for me, it's kind of a weird one because I feel like this franchise is big, but for me, it's bigger because I, this is my favorite, one of my favorite franchises from Nintendo. Uh, Super Mario Party 2. That might be a weird one for me. That's number three. And uh, here's the reason. I, I feel like Super Mario Party, the game that was released on the Switch, the only Mario Party game on the Switch, it's pretty bad. It, it, well, here's the, okay. It's a mixture of good and bad, okay? First, good, because Mario Party 9 and 10 were hot garbage. Super Mario Party was like a step in the right direction. The mini games were fantastic. No complaints about the mini games. Uh, the boards were really bad. They were really small. There was no online. They recently put an online update, which was kind of weird, years later. But that could also be hinting at the next Super Mario Party. I like the name. I want them to keep Super in front of it. I think that that's kind of cute. It's like a, you know, reimagining or like a, you know, re-release of the series. So Super Mario Party 2, there's been rumors of the game. To me, this is just the perfect game to release in the summer. Uh, or, or, I mean, or the fall or holiday time or something like that. The game also sold incredibly well. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't have the sales figures, but, you know, just for like a, a, a Mario Party game, it did really well. And if you actually think back to the GameCube days, they used to release Mario Parties every single year. So I don't think this is really out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Super Mario Party 2, hopefully they fix some of the things that were wrong with the first game, add in more boards, add in a better online experience. And honestly, I feel like the first Super Mario Party had too much going on. There was a lot of modes, but then when you like started playing the modes, you realize that there wasn't a lot to do in the mode, so maybe like shrink the game down a bit, but add to those modes that you that you still have in there. Uh, Super Mario Party 2, if they show it, I will be so, so happy. Uh, number four for me is uh, something that we already know of. I'm, I feel like, am I being too boring with this list? Uh, Splatoon 3, anything. Splatoon is one of my favorite franchises from Nintendo, and we already had, again, the cinematic trailer. It had some gameplay elements in it, but nothing was explained. Uh, I feel like this would be a good time. Maybe, I think my hope is more gameplay. I wanna see like what separates this from Splatoon 2. Splatoon has also had a problem of releasing unfinished. Splatoon 1, unfinished. Uh, Splatoon 2 was unfinished. They add to it, similar to like Animal Crossing. It's kind of weird because they're like similar teams. But Splatoon 3, I want to see the full blowout, what's gonna make this different, new modes, new characters, new weapons, I don't know, just like expanding upon this fantastic franchise. Um, this could be a great game to show during the Treehouse. Maybe you have like Zelda, uh, Splatoon, and like Mario Party shown in the Treehouse. Like I think that's a that's a decent lineup of uh, Treehouse games. It's gonna be three hours, so that's, that's a substantial amount. I was thinking maybe like 30 minutes each of each of a game. Maybe like a bigger game like Breath of the Wild would be like an hour. But yeah, uh, Splatoon 3, I'm just so interested in, in finding out like anything. I mean, we got like gameplay and stuff, but like there's, I don't know anything. I have no idea. So 
yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic game. It's co-op shooter. If you haven't played it, try it out. Uh, and then the very last thing, number five for me, and this is kind of a doozy because this is like the big rumor of the year, right? And that's the Switch Pro. I don't, okay, my want is not seeing it in the E3 presentation because I do still believe it's gonna be announced before E3. But I want to see Switch Pro gameplay. Here's why. First of all, I would feel like a little kid again. Imagine seeing gameplay in like the new, the new fresh console that you can't buy, but you can see other people playing it. I want that feeling again. I want to just go crazy. Like I need the Switch Pro. So I think that that would be really cool to see. More so on Treehouse. You know, you could show me a trailer all you want on, you know, in the presentation, but to actually see the console running and maybe they can do like a side-by-side -side, like running on the Switch versus the Switch Pro and really give fans a reason to buy it because I think a lot of people right now are like, why do I need the Switch Pro? So Switch Pro gameplay for me would be amazing. Uh, also, there's a good chance that if they do make this their Zelda E3, uh, they could possibly release a special edition Switch Pro. That's a lot of S's. Breath of the Wild 2 Switch Pro would be fantastic. They, they did a special edition of the game, uh, Breath of the Wild 1 for the Switch. So anything is possible for this. That's my list of five. I feel like I'm be I'm not too greedy with this list. All of these things could happen. Now, of course, the last thing, Switch Pro, it has to be even announced for uh, for something to happen, but that would be really cool to show hardware at the E3 presentation. Super Mario 2, uh, Super Mario Party 2 is very likely. Splatoon 3, why not? The game is coming out next year, so why not You know, give us a little bit of a teaser? Breath of the Wild 2 and an Animal Crossing update. Those are all, I'm not asking for much, Nintendo, okay? Let me know again in the comments what your hopes are for E3. Do you just want Animal Crossing stuff? Would you just be fine with having your game update or would you want some other stuff? Would you, do you want a new Metroid? Do you want a new Mario? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.